Good morning, childrens. Mr. Bruce here with this holiday tradition of Christmas books. Today is Peppa Pig, The Christmas Wish. Before we start, eyes watching, ears listening, voices quiet, body calm. All right. Peppa's Christmas Wish. It was Christmas Eve, and Peppa... George and their friends were aboard the Christmas elf train. Toot toot! They are on their way to Santa's workshop. Everyone is very, very excited. Ho ho ho! chuckles Santa Claus. I hope you've all been good. He makes a list of what everyone would want for Christmas. Oh, the kids are so excited. George would like a racing car. Peppa wants a certain doll. All the kids have their favorite thing that they're going to ask Santa for. Peppa and her family are spending Christmas with Granny and Grandpa Pig. You can stir the Christmas pudding, Granny says, and don't forget, make a wish. Soon, it's bedtime. I hope Santa knows where Granny and Grandpa live. Peppa whispers before she slowly falls asleep. On Christmas Day, Peppa and her family eat the Christmas pudding. This is delicious, says Mommy Pig. I wonder what you wish for when you were making it, Peppa. Well, it was time to open the presents. George got a racing car. Vroom, vroom, he said. There's nothing under the tree for Peppa. Peppa says, I hope Santa hasn't forgotten me. By then, Santa is on his way home with his sleigh. Suddenly, he spots something sticking out of the back of his sack. Oh, ho, ho, he guessed. There's one last present I forgot to deliver. It's still in my sack. <clears throat> Santa tumbles down the chimney at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Here's your present, Peppa, he says. My Christmas pudding wish came true, Peppa cries. I got my doll. I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day, and he has. Hooray for Santa. The end. Well, that's the start of our Christmas stories. There'll be another Peppa Pig story tomorrow, and we'll be doing this all through the vacation, so keep an eye out. Until then, be good to your folks and wash your hands. Bye-bye.